Hi everyone. Welcome to the part two and let's see what you should do as a deck officer at the mooring station. So, the tug is made fast or it can be that there is no tug and you with your team go to the station to get everything ready for arrival. What it means? When you get to the station and all the assigned crew too, you have to do a radio check with the bridge. Usually you say, bridge forward, radio check, and you get the reply, loud and clear forward, and you report to the bridge that all assigned crew are on station, no one is missing. Usually, as soon as the pilot appears on the bridge, the captain will ask him and then tell the crew on which side the vessel will be moored and how many mooring lines are to be sent ashore, whereupon you start preparing the mooring lines on the appropriate side. Ensure that the mooring winches are working properly and can be operated from all positions, directly and from the control stations located on both sides of the vessel. If any faults are detected, notify the bridge immediately and they will call an electrician or engineer to rectify the fault. If it is night time, ask the bridge to turn on the lights at the mooring station. Preparation of mooring lines is done by your mooring crew. You as the officer must check that the lines are prepared according to the mooring plan given by the captain. For example, captain inform, starboard side alongside, for plus two. So you check that four lines are ready to be sent ashore as head lines or stern lines, depending on where your station is. And two lines are ready to be sent ashore as springs, all passing through the appropriate fair leads. You should check that the part of the line that lies on the deck doesn't have dangerous bites into which a person could step, so the line can be safely sent ashore. You should check that heating line is ready and in good condition. You have to confirm with the bosun whether the anchors are ready for an emergency. Once everything is ready, you should carry out a toolbox meeting with your team, such a briefing of safety measures and hazards during mooring operation. Once toolbox meeting is carried out, you have to report to the bridge about that, as well as that everything is in order at your station and you are ready for mooring operations. So, now you are approaching the berth and captain starts asking for distances and clearances. Let's talk about that in the next part. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.